All right, everybody, so let's just settle into our meditation posture. And if you, <clears throat> if you are sitting at a desk and your feet are down on the ground, just again remember not to have them in uh, crossed. So everything needs to be parallel if your feet are down. Other than that, if you're in the regular cross-legged position, a um, couple of cushions under either knee, sits bones raised, and on something firm and if you're if you've got something behind you like a wall or a chair or something like that uh, try not to use it to kind of lean into like this because this is not not helpful for your meditation <laughs> um, unless of course you're not very well or if you're feeling really tired or if you're injured so in that case you need to be just comfortable enough to be present Hands in the meditation mudra, right hand nestled in the left, and imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. So just imagine your spine is lengthening and you're just coaxing all the, I think they're called the erect rectum erecti spinae I'm going to get the correct word I'll find it the correct anatomical word for all those muscles along the spine anyway as the name suggests keeps you upright so imagine and they also we always have tension in different parts of our back some of us are hyper flexible in our lower back and then the upper back is tight some people are tight the whole way down so it depends what your particular issue is but just try and allow the muscles along the back to just release as you're imagining your head reaching for the ceiling so just to, as your head's reaching for the ceiling everything in the back is just kind of dropping down the head is slightly tipped forward hinging from the neck so putting some length in the back of the neck and the eyes are down looking along the length of the nose if they were open they'd be looking at a spot a couple of inches ahead tip of the tongue is on the roof of the mouth and relax the jaw and just bring our attention to the crown of the head and relax the scalp and the forehead and the eyes the nose and the ears sorry the nose sorry the air around the mouth I haven't got to the ears yet and bring your awareness to the back of the head the scalp and relax the scalp there and the ears the inner ear and the temples back of the tongue the jaw relax the back of the neck relax the shoulders and allow those shoulder blades to drop down uh, as you're lengthening relax the throat the chest the belly the hands the feet the fingers and toes and your limbs and let's just bring our mind to the breath noticing the sensation of the air as you're inhaling it's slightly cooler as it flows in through the outside of the nostrils and exhaling slightly warmer as, sorry warmer as you're exhaling And if there are any sounds in your environment, just allow those sounds to be there. And try not to run off and investigate with your mind or engage. And just notice what's, what's attracting you, what's distracting you, drawing you away. And then let it go very gently, bring your mind back to the breath. And then just feel and check where are you at. What's going on? Are you feeling happy or sad? A little bit irritated or tired? Somehow, somehow not felt? You've been um, acknowledged enough? 
Don't judge what's arising, just notice. And then put some space in between those thoughts and those stories. And try not to engage or judge or turn it into an, another story. And then just watch them like an objective observer, like a scientist. Gosh, that's really curious. Because you know with impermanence everything changes all the time. So you're not uh, identified by one particular type of emotion. That's not who you are. So let's just put ourselves on the bank of that river, that river of mental moments, and just watch it flow by. It can be slowly flowing, it can be fast flowing, but you're free from it because you're not in it. Then let's bring to mind all the people of our life, all our loved ones, the ones we care about, our besties, our spouses, our children families, dear colleagues, school friends, and then there's those people who you oh, don't quite trust or they're just a little bit irritating, and then there's this other spectrum, other end of that particular spectrum where people have really harmed you and you sort of best probably to stay away. You're separate from this group, you don't feel, you feel separate from this group. You push them away. And then there's those strangers who we don't take terribly much notice of. We're kind of indifferent to these people. People on the freeway, people in the street walking their dog, people at the pharmacy in the queue, in the line waiting to check out. And these people can all change place at any time. But just to remind ourselves of this over and over again. So those people that are precious in our lives, we need to not take them for granted. And they're all deserving of equally of our concern. Why? Because they all wish to be happy, they don't want to suffer, and they all have this incredible capacity for this enlightened mind. So we just think we're going to do this meditation for the benefit of all these people of our life and by extension all sentient beings. And just remember there is no negativity that cannot be purified. It's a psychological process, this purification process. And be because we've created negativity with our mind we can equally change that and create positivity with our mind. It's not it just takes a little bit of effort. It's not that difficult. And we just need to know how. So we're not completely under the control of our delusions all the time and we can do something about them. So first we come to the power of regret. And as I've been saying, Lama Zaprimbache says this goes a long way towards purifying our negative karma. Just first of all acknowledging what we've done and then regretting it. So sincerely regret from the depths of the heart of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day, in this life, and in all past lives. And think of specific actions of both your body and your speech, and then in general regret all. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. We experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. So having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. We cannot bear the thought of future suffering. So it logically would make sense to remove these karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this, I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering, I'm sick of suffering. And also regret the anger, our delusions, attachment and the rest, that jealousy and bitterness and grudges and feeling separate from wanting to push away 
this is the cause of why we harm others and again think I'm sick of this suffering and then what can I do about it whom can I turn to so here we come to the power of reliance we rely upon we turn to the Buddha the doctor who has the methods that we can use to purify and it's not that we need the Buddha to forgive us we purify ourselves by relying upon his methods so imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head and you imagine this is your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. Vajrasattva is made of this radiant, blissful white light sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon disc. And this lotus, although born out of mud, is untainted by that mud. Just like our enlightened potential, born out of our delusions but untainted by them. Mm. Vajrasattva's face is radiant and beautiful. His eyes are long, and peaceful and full of love and compassion for us. He's just so happy to see you, accepts you exactly as you are, however it is you're showing up this evening. He has a sweet red mouth, his hair is black and held up in a top knot, his arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom, the right is holding a vajra which represents the indestructibility of compassion, and their being crossed represents the union of these two and this symbolizes enlightenment itself the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion to the buddha the dharma and the sangha i go for refuge until i'm enlightened by this practice of meditating on guru vajrasattva may i reach buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings so in order to develop compassion we need to rely upon other beings so first of all bring to mind the beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us by developing compassion for them and think particularly of people you have harmed recently and in the past and then in general all beings we have ever harmed since beginningless time and then think of those people who have harmed you and have compassion for them because they will suffer as a result of the harm they've done to you. And their suffering, you're never sure when that's going to manifest, when will that arise. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these sentient beings and think I must purify for their sake. So now we come to the power of the remedy and this is the actual medicine, the doing the practice of purification. So I'm losing my mali here. So we start with the uh, purification of the body. So Vajrasapa very compassionately sends powerful white nectar, like coming out of a hose very forcefully from his heart. And this arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. It keeps pouring in and it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid and this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left as we recite the mantra. Om Bhadrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dido Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawasiri Mempiyata Sawakama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hom Pe Om Bhadrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dido Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawasiri Mempiyata Sawakama Sita Me Sitam Shri Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hom Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hom Pe Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dido Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa 
Anurakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawa tata gata vajra mame mudza vajra bawa maha samaya satva a hum pe hum vajra safa samaya manupalaya vajra safa dina patita dida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anurakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawa tata gata Vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya satva a hum pe. Um vajra safa samaya manupalaya vajra safa dina patita. Dudu me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa. Anurakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan. Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya satva a hum pe. Um vajra safa samaya manupalaya vajra safa dina patita. Dudu me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa. Anurakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan. Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya satva a hum pe. So be delighted that all the harm you have ever done to any sentient being with your body is completely purified and think there is no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. So the next is the purification of speech. And Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra. It arcs around and forcefully enters your crown, filling your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech. And this overflows and disappears into space, not one item left, except overflows quite powerfully, quite forcefully. So you can imagine that all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and the lying and talking badly about others behind their backs, all of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, supokaya me bawa, anarakta me bawa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum, ha 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 ho bhagavan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya satva a hum pe, um vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, duda me bawa, sutokaya me bawa, supokaya me bawa, anarakta me bawa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum, ha 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 ho bhagavan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya satva a hum pe um vajra sapha samaya manupalaya vajra sapha dina patita dida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anurakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya satva a hum pe um vajra sapha samaya manupalaya vajra sapha dina patita duda me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anurakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawa tata gata vajra Mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya satva a hum pe. Um vajra sapha samaya manupalaya vajra sapha dina patita. Duda me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa. Anurakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan. Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya satva a hum pe. Um vajra sapha samaya manupalaya vajra sapha dina patita. Duda me bawa me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa anurakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya satva a hum pe um vajra sapha samaya manupalaya vajra sapha dina patita duda me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anurakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya satva a hum pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything but benefit others now with your speech. So the moment they hear your voice, it benefits their mind. And everything that comes out of your mouth benefits others. 
So the only reason we would speak is to be of benefit, to say something that will benefit somebody's mind. And to have that level of awareness and that level of wisdom, compassion and kindness, that's just amazing. And it's definitely something to aspire to. So next is a purification of the mind. And Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's just the same as when we walk into a dark room and switch on a light. The light instantly dispels the darkness. So the same here, just as the light from Vajrasattva's heart touches your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, so all your attachment and neediness and anger and depression and resentment and jealousy and bitterness and grudges, all of this instantly dispelled, not one atom left as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dino Patita Dida Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Hanarakta Mebowa Sawa Siddhi Mepiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dino Patita Dida Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anurakta Mebowa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatla Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Me Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dido Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anurakta Mebowa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatla Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Me Mutsa Vajra Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Duda Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Supokaya Me Bawa Anurakta Me Bawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Duda Me Bawa Sutokaya me bowa, supokaya me bowa, anurakta me bowa, sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, am vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, duda me bowa, sutokaya me bowa, supokaya me bowa, anurakta me bowa, sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Duda Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Supokaya Me Bawa Anurakta Me Bawa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe So be delighted rejoice all your delusions which are the source of all of your own suffering all of our own suffering and the cause of why we all harm others with our body and our speech are totally purified gone and think now there is no space in your heart for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion so next is a purification of the imprints of negativity of the body, speech and mind. So this time we can, if you wish, recite a couple of mantras for each of the visualizations of the body, speech and mind. Or we can just imagine light and nectar just pouring into you, filling you completely and eradicating even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind as you recite the mantra. Om Vajra Sapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapha Dina Patita Dida Me Bowa Sutokaya Me Bowa Supokaya Me Bowa Anurakta Me Bowa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Vajra Sapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapha Dina Patita Dida Me Bowa Sutokaya Me Bowa Supokaya Me Bowa Anurakta me bowa, sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra me mutza 
Vajra Bawa Mahasamaya Satva A Hompe Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mempiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasamaya Satva A Hompe Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mempiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hompe Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anurakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hompe Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebowa, Anurakta Mebowa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hompe, Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita, Duda Mebowa, Sutokaya Mebowa, Supokaya Mebowa, Anurakta Mebowa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe. Now feel you are completely purified. Not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have been removed. So next we come to the power of resolve. And this is the fourth and final step in the purification process. But first of all, again, just rejoice in your effort for turning up here tonight or in Jay's case this morning so everyone's busy everyone's either working or studying or having family things to deal with so it's just kind of fantastic that you've taken some space some time to nurture yourself so that's just wonderful that's very healthy so rejoice for that and then rejoice for the effort that you've been making to get on top of your habits and the progress that you're making. So again, we can just extend that, think of something, bring something to mind and, and think about working on it. So if you have, say you haven't had, say, any thoughts of jealousy or anger for a few months, and then all of a sudden, it pops up like an old bad friend. And so then rather than going, oh no, done it again. You, you can think, oh, that's interesting. What are you doing here? And then think, well, I, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to think about it. And I'm going to try and refrain from it for 20 seconds or 30 seconds or however long. And then you might keep coming back to that delusion and you keep kind of chipping away at it, keep attacking it, keep neutralizing it so it doesn't lead to anything, any kind of more dysfunctional behavior or speech. So just bit by bit, it's not going to happen overnight. So this determination to not do again is what gives us the strength to change. And Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind. He melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think my guru's body, speech and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing. And Lamayeshi calls this union oneness. And next, Rinpoche recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma, there is no action of creating negative karma and there is no negative karma created. So at level, whatever level you understand emptiness, place your mind there for a little while. So in this way, look at all phenomena as being empty. They do not exist from their own side. And so let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created by doing this purification to all living beings, thinking, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of Qu uh, sentient beings as quickly as possible.
of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And Falamza Parimbashe, but Lama Ursul, Venerable One, to you whose kindness exceeds out of all the conquerors, for those wanderers in far-off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us and intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. And because you share a beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequaled guide. Please live a long and stable life. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Shayla, for hosting. And lots of love and sleep well. Have a good rest of your day, Jay. And everybody else, have a good night and a restful sleep. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Lots of love, everybody. Thank you for coming. Good night, so